All right, guys, so the day finally has arrived, and I, for one, am extremely, extremely hyped. As a matter of fact, I don't remember last time I was this hyped. Shallot and Giblet is officially going to fusion, and I'm going to give you guys the full breakdown guide, the best equipment to use, the best teams, what we can expect, and this all, by the way, comes out tonight in just about a few hours from now, so it's really crazy, guys. I'll have full coverage here on my channel on absolutely everything, so... Guys, you know, Shallot and Giblet is going to fuse. Now, there is a variety of ways this could function. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on how this is going to function, as well as, of course, you know, the best equipment you guys should be farming already, because I'm already, like, guys, as soon as this video is done, I'm going to be farming like crazy. So, uh, let's not waste any time. And by the way, if you guys do find value in today's video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that stuff, especially because you can also enter for a PS5 and Xbox Series X giveaway. All you have to do is simply like and subscribe and comment to get a raffle ticket i'll you know you guys just actually you guys could just pause the video and uh read the rules right there i'm not gonna go over but guys let's just try to get back to the video because i for one like i said am extremely excited so shallot and ghibli is officially gonna fuse now i don't remember last time i was this hyped probably a few years i mean honestly this celebration started off rough but it's ending with a huge huge banger so Okay, let's let's first discuss exactly how this could function, followed by the best equipment you guys should be farming for them. So this could function in a variety of ways. Number one, obviously, Shallot has a main menu, right? Where you can select whether you want to use his base form, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, and God. Now, I can predict that there is going to be another selection screen where it's going to be already a fused unit. That's what I think could potentially be. Or it could just be another selection screen that is going to start off base shallot with perhaps maybe even a Ghibli as an assist unit, not a tag unit, as an assist unit, and then they fuse. So that th those are the two biggest possibilities right now, right? Obviously, it would be a huge buzzkill if this comes out as a separate character, kind of like the Saiyan in Red and Zaha, right? I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is going to be a shallot main menu character selection screen, and that would be the ideal thing. Now, you know, man, it's, it's, <laughs> there's so much to talk about. First things first is that we, we did get the hourglass leak just about a month ago. And I, I'm starting to think that it's not confirmed that it could be for these two characters here as an hourglass, but we don't know just yet how it's going to function, how we'll be able to fuse, if they're going to have their own unique gauge, or if it's going to be through their main ability. But, you know, I am very excited. As a matter of fact, let's straight up get into the video because, or the second part of the video, because, you know, this is going to be, it's going to be tricky because Shallot and Ghibli is going to fuse, but they are going to be, you know, multiple tags, right? They're going to be Fusion Warrior, God Key, Saiyan, and Game Original Series. So, uh, Game Originals, Z ability. So, you know, if, if you guys did not know, if Shallot starts off base form, right, you cannot equip God Key equipment on him. You cannot equip fusion warrior equipment on them you just can't right because they have to be already in that formation now i'm going to be covering some fusion warrior and god key equipment just because they could possibly already start off uh as a character fusion selection screen so we'll have to wait and see but i will mention some but obviously there are already some really good ones such as this one right here which is saiyan in red it's their original you know uh, game originals unique equipment and it's phenomenal, guys. This is the number one equipment you guys should be farming from for sure. Base health up to 10% first slot. Second slot, 30% um, to base strike attack. And then third slot, a whopping 30% also to base blast attack. So this is something you guys definitely need to start farming today. Another one, and I'm not sure if this one's going to be equippable. It all depends on how this is going to function. If they start off as a fusion, this will probably be not equippable. If it starts off for shallot, where you can transform into a fusion, this will be equippable, right? Which is this Awaken equipment for specifically shallot. So, like I said, if he starts off shallot, then you can use this, right? Um, and if he starts off fusion, then you cannot use this because he's not technically shallot. He'll be, I don't know, whatever his name will be, right? By the way, comment down below, what do you think his name will be? Uh, there's a lot of anything but shillet, uh, that, probably like Gallet would be pretty cool in my personal opinion. Very curious to see what, the, what they're going to name him or how they're going to look too. Maybe like a Gogeta outfit. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, but, you know, and I will be coming out with data mines, uh, uh, leaks and stuff in just about a few hours. So make sure you guys have those notifications on. But here, you know, of course, this is a no-brainer if it starts off with Shallot. It's an Awakened equipment from his original uh, equipment, 
which his first slot is base strike defense up to 20% alongside a base blast defense all the way up to 20% two for one. So that's phenomenal. Uh, the second slot is base health up to 15% alongside a whopping 20% to strike attack. So this is a no brainer. And then the third slot is base key recovery up to 10% as well. So if he starts off with Charlotte, this is definitely another one. Now, if he does start off with fusion warrior, if he starts off as a fusion, right? Automatically off the bat, off these uh, character selection screen, then you'll be able to equip fusion warrior equipment on him. And then this is one of them that automatically comes to mind. Uh, because here, you know, the third slot, you get a, uh, a choice of a whopping 35% to either base blast attack or strike attack. And then the second slot, you get a 20% to base blast defense, which is great. And then the first slot, you get an ore uh, critical up to 15% or base key recovery up to 15%. So this is another one to definitely look out for. Or you guys can definitely, you know, try to get this one as well. So this one's a multiple. The third slot is going to be kind of tricky to get because... Uh, the third slot, you have to get a good one, and there's a basically one out of three chance here. Either base blast attack up to 23%, uh, base blast defense up to 23%, and then base strike attack up to 23%. Now, is he going to be a melee? Is it going to be a, a range type? We don't know just yet. Is it going to be a defensive type, supportive type? We don't know. I'm leaning still more towards uh, perhaps strike attack because that's what Shallot originally is. Um, so leaning towards strike attack, but um, of course the second slot special move damage up to 15% and you guys already know you can equip anything onto Shallot, so any or almost anything um, in terms of uh, special moves. So that's really cool too. And by the way, hopefully down the line, they revamp Shallot's system in terms of making him fully customizable, you know, uh, making him, um, you know, more outfits, uh, you know, teachable green cards, perhaps maybe an LF down the line. That would be ideal for this character here because he's the mascot of the game at the end of the day, right? So, um, yeah, the first slot is also uh, base strike defense up to 20, uh, 20%. So now if we're talking about God key, because if, because they are going to be God key, right? So it's going to be very interesting, um, whether or not they go super Saiyan blue today. I don't know. That would be an extra cherry on top, obviously, but, um, nonetheless, they could go, uh, could go God key. And if they start off God key fusion, then this would be ideal for them as well, which is the, uh, third slot is ideal because it's 21.5 percent to either base strike or base blast attack and then critical of course up to 15 percent and base strike defense up to 18 percent as well now these are all just some of the equipments i'm tossing out uh that i see here um i don't want to go into too much depth because we don't know exactly how they're going to function whether or not they're going to start off a specific uh you know transformation uh either god key either fusion or if it's going to start off with base shallot itself but guys if you do enjoy the video make sure you guys simply like subscribe and all that good stuff i'll be coming out with much more guides much more leaks here on my channel probably multiple videos today multiple videos tomorrow so uh stay tuned for that i'm quite excited as you guys can see here so uh yeah until the next one i will uh make sure to keep you guys updated when we get any more leaks in just a few hours from now so catch you guys then have a good one peace